just going to echo actually what Dave said. You know, on Veterans Day here, it's great to uh, be able to honor our veterans and thank them for everybody or for everything they've done for us. Um, my family, my friends, are all veterans. I really thank them for everything. And along the thankfulness, I'd like to also thank uh, Jerees and Allie for all the work that they've done for our program and the recruiting this class. I mean, they did a tremendous job under the everything you guys were just talking about to Dave about with the uh, different things we have going on with COVID and the different restrictions that are out there with dead periods and watching things on video. So just a great job with recruiting these young women. Um, really, you know, excited about, uh, I know Dom will use this on a, Dom, you're going to use the excited part again, right? Um, but excited about, you know, Chloe uh, and Savvy. I mean, Chloe Woldruff is coming in. She's a third baseman from uh, Iowa. Uh, she's ranked actually one of the top 200 prospects in the country, somebody that we feel is going to come in and just actually make an immediate impact. I mean, really strong stick, great, great glove, uh, moving really well this year. Uh, I think she has two errors and probably she's throughout the summer and the fall. I mean, so defensively, just really strong. Vo big vocal leader, somebody we're looking forward to having on the field. Um, just, I think somebody that's really going to add a lot of excitement on the field and in the lineup. Uh, can't wait to have her actually get here next semester, or excuse me, next fall and be a part of our program. Um, Savvy Williams is a pitcher that we have coming in from Texas. And Sav's same thing, a lot of great movement. Um, he knows how to use her pitch as well. It's somebody that we feel can come in and be, make an impact as a freshman. Um, Allie did a great job of getting contact and you know, getting to know um, Savvy a little bit and had a relationship with her coach that she, Ellie's uh, ex-teammate was her coach down in, at LSU, was her summer coach. So we had a chance to get to know Savvy a little bit through one of Allie's former teammates. And that was kind of the connection that we were able to get her to come on up to Fargo and get her to be part of our program. And I think both of them, you know, they're highly recruited athletes. Uh, we were fortunate they were looked at by a lot of Power 5 schools. I'm fortunate to kind of get both of them to come to NDSU and I think to kind of hopefully elevate our program to the next step that we keep on trying to work towards. Did you, did you hang on to, like, based on last year and the season that was lost and this year, kind of the free whatever, like, do you know your scholarship levels? Are, are, do you have any clue <laughs> what you could really recruit this year because of not knowing really what the future holds? I use Excel a lot for that because I can't, I can't figure that out myself. Um, you know, we have an idea. You know, we have a pretty good idea. We, we have, we told everybody actually, we're just taking it one year at a time right now. I mean, every program I think is doing it differently because you, there's so many unknowns. There's injuries, there's graduations, um, there's opportunities for jobs for people that are going to be seniors. So we want to make sure that we sit down and have a conversation with everybody of just where they're going to be um, and what's what's looking, you know, ahead for them as well. Um, but, you know, with this year, with the, the fifth year kids that are coming back, they don't count against our equivalency. So that, that was helpful in the aspect of us kind of putting our equivalencies together. But we knew we have three people in that class. You know, Kara, Kara, and Sam are the three, I'll call them, supposed to be seniors, so they're the three seniors there. So we knew we have a smaller class, so it's kind of helped us a little bit and try to figure those things out. But as we go forward, to be honest with you, it's going to be pretty tricky because, you know, there's a potential if you look at our freshman class right now, with everybody getting a year back, we could either have 11 freshmen or we could have four freshmen and seven sophomores. So there's a lot of roster management going forward.